You are gay. Hello, Spurs. So, a thought has been going through my head that Zenyatta didn't really have anything. For months, I never acted upon this thought, but a week ago, I put everything into an Excel sheet and, yeah, he has absolutely nothing. He's an enigma in Overwatch's story, but why is that the case? Without further ado. <laughs> Now, obviously, if you knocked it all down, you'd think Zenyatta just isn't relevant enough to the story, but why was he added to the roster when other monks exist? Monado was one of the already established monks in the cinematic and the in-game event, Uprising. And out of every hero that's been released to the game, they've at least been given, well, something. Whether it be a cinematic, an origin, or a comic, or a few others. But out of every character, only one character has the least appearances, that of course being Zenyatta. Besides the Reflections comic that basically featured Tracer and the appearances from a few other characters, which of course included Zenyatta and Genji, that was merely less than a paddle, and of course there was the small appearance in the We Are Overwatch teaser. There was a short story in 2020 which had Symmetra and Zenyatta as the main stars of the evening. And while Zenyatta or Symmetra don't make much of a visual appearance, the story offers enlightenment with its written dialogue, which does reveal an integral part to why Zenyatta and other Omnics basically exist, or why some, such as Zen, look to the Iris, and possibly why he can even float. But for context, Zenyatta is told to be floating without repulses, which, in other words, are the floaty wheels on vehicles. But the short story revealed Aurora, the Omnic who did a selfless act of sacrificing herself to give sentience to other Omnics. But that was it, really. Zenyatta had a few quotes, a single piece of art, and a lore reveal for another character. So, with how little he makes an appearance in Overwatch content, does he have a part to play? While Zenyatta doesn't have much to his name, he did have a few notable roles in the timeline. Now, Zenyatta doesn't have much of a major part in this instant, this is still good to be mentioned though. Zenyatta was taken in as a monk by Ramatra, with both characters becoming his closest brothers, and how they discussed the problems of human and omnic society, and how they are treated. But Ramatra did something that almost costed Zenyatta's life, and soon they split off, which led Zenyatta to set off around the world and help those he met. And of course, one of those ended up being Genji Shimada, who was a man full of anger. But after leaving Overwatch, he was conflicted on being a cyborg, and just like Zenyatta, travelled the world for enlightenment. But after they met one another, Genji had rejected Zenyatta's teachings, but eventually became his mentor. And through his guidance, he helped Genji find his inner peace. <laughs> and that's all Zenyatta has done in terms of story, as of now. Zenyatta was one of the 21 characters when the first game launched, and we knew little about him. But as each new character grew the existing roster, we learned connections between them, who they were in general, what they had to offer, or they made characters exist just for the hell of us. The heroes on screen have been added since launch, and each getting their own sets of lore, and established roles in the Overwatch world. Arno was one of the founding members of Overwatch and hides in the shadows. Arista was built by Ify, with the parts of droids that failed to stop Doomfist, and is a hero in Nombani. Ramatra is the leader of an old sector, and many more. And then there's some that just don't factor, old and new, or unsure of their place in the Overwatch timeline. Junker Queen, for example, is the Junker Town's Queen, except who does she know? What's her connection to Overwatch? And what about Hammond? He's travelling the world having adventures, and any ties to the Winstons, for example, can't be simply repaired. And it's the same case for many other heroes. And it's the same case with Zenyatta. How does he factor into the story? With everything you've heard so far, did Blizzard do this on purpose? To mask Zenyatta as this enigma compared to other characters? Even one to have just brand new? I honestly don't think so. Blizzard are good with their storytelling and characters, but adding those characters? They're hits or misses if I'm being completely honest. The characters added were either just added for the new gameplay or were integral to the story of Overwatch. And something I haven't mentioned yet is of course the campaign. Now according to the wiki, the relationship between Ramatra and Zenyatta will be explained. Explored. How they do it though is unknown, but it might give Zenyatta a role in the Overwatch 2 timeline. So yeah, it might not be on purpose and they were just binding their time for 6 years, but we can only hope. <laughs> 
Zenyatta is a character shrouded in mystery, with no cinematics showing his skills, comics showing what he does to help others, or origins to explain his past life. Zenyatta out of most characters don't have a part to play, but that's the case with others as well. What each character has to offer in the future is up to Blizzard, our lord and saviors who also don't listen to us, but sometimes they do when editing the script. So the reason why is because he isn't relevant, he's more of a side story in the narrative. But Zenyatta Mantle will just have to wait until we see some Zenyatta action. 